report A New Way to Lead, for me, the three most important findings that have come from that are, firstly, leading with kindness. The second one is around being authentic in your leadership role. And the third one was very much around leading in the growth zone. I think there's almost a, a paradigm shift happening in the way in which we think about um, organisations and leadership. Leadership is critical to how we implement transformation programmes and by working with leaders, upskilling them, giving them the tools that they need to help their teams, we can really put in place a nice transformation programme that allows the leadership of the future to come through. My question for leaders is, what's your attention focused on? To what extent are you really putting purpose at the heart of how you're working? One of the key things about leading with purpose is that it, it needs to move away just from the kind of the vision statement that's put on the on the, the wall. It has to pervade everything that the organisation does. Internal disruption is a really important factor in an organisation. It's where you find new ideas, new energy, new thought. And the beautiful thing about organisations is it's always happening. The secret is to find it, make the most of it, bring it to the surface and give it some scale. Kindness and empathy underpin empowerment. If you are kind with your people, your people will be kind to you. By being empathetic and understanding their challenges, I've always found that you've been able to get the best out of people. Creating a psychologically safe environment where actually teams feel free to challenge, to share new ideas, and to bring their diverse perspectives to bear on a problem. And we know that by doing that, we get a much better solution, we get a much better output. We've proven that it's entirely possible to grow organisations and to maintain engagement in a hybrid working context as caused by the pandemic. And I don't think leaders have an option. I think they have to make leadership work and engagement work by having people in different geographies, different locations. And that's entirely possible through technology. The team is a powerful unit of change and when a team is aligned and committed and focused in the same direction, especially when it's a leadership team, that ripples through the organisation. So in sum, you know, being kind, recognising that as a leader you need to change, having the skills to change and creating true teams that are aligned and committed are really important things that came out of that research that fit with our experience.